Hello, everyone. It's Pogodan Sada here. Welcome back to our educational video series. And today, we walk into how to use Pokédex, the Cutting Edge Nook Studio Art of Book Decks on Pokédot that allows us to start trading cryptocurrencies in a safe and decentralized way. Let's check it out. So, what is Pokédex? It's not a book-based decentralized exchange built on Substrate working on the Pokédex network that enables P2P trading with ultimately cheap fee, advanced features, and non-custodial, which means that users remain in control of their funds at all times, and we don't have to worry about hacks, ACES scams, or other risks associated with centralized exchanges. Moreover, Pokédex offers astonishing features like friendly UI UX, delegating our fund to professional third party, having bots trading to save time and be more efficient. And we can even have the access to Pokédot Universe Apart Chain for cross transactions in the near future. Okay, let's move on to the tutorial part. Firstly, we need to access the Pokédex website and on the right hand side, we click on the white button named Start Trading. We'll automatically head over to a new app user interface, which looks like a training pro version of a DEX. Next up, on the right side corner is a login and sign up box. Click on that to sign in or sign up for a new account. Emails can be used to sign up to Pokedex. Verification code will be asked to fill as it was sent to the inbox. Once finished, a pop up with a message successfully registered should appear. Please note that this email will be used to verify our funding accounts. Next, next, we need to link our funding accounts. And in this tutorial, we'll use Sub Wallet to register and link with a verified email to start connecting the wallet. And after that, we'll be able to start trading. Just in case we don't have one yet, we can create a new wallet using any of the Polkadot wallets out there, like Polkadot JS, Nova Wallet, and yes, Talisman. We already have videos to support you guys in creating your own Pokédot wallet. The link is in the description. Okay, let's get back to our journey today. Next up, head over to the control sidebar on the left-hand side and click on the wallet icon and we'll be directed to the account section. Here we'll see all the information of our account that has been connected to Pokédex with trading and funding accounts. Please look at the email and register first until we can get the green verified badge, just like this. Done! But that is the first step. Please note that the initial wallet we connect to Pokédex will categorize as a funding account. And to trade on Pokédex, we need to have a trading account. Looking at the funding accounts, we'll see our account and we need to first link our verified email with the account and register in the following steps in order. Firstly, we click the link email button. A pop-up for the transaction is approved, and we just click Approved. Secondly, we need to register the funding account based on the funding accounts we already have, and click on Register Now. And a register account window will pop up. We can set our trading account name for easy to choose next time. We can even set a password by turning on the button to go ping for higher security. Finally, we press Register and create an account. The other choice to access a trading account is that we can import an account. Looking above the trading account section, we can see the pink import account button. We can import our trading account using three supported methods like mnemonic phrase, JSON file, or even ledger device. And this is filling with our method importing account and click on import account. However, once approving the transaction, we might encounter some errors. It will inform us that the transaction has failed, and one of the errors normally will be the lack of Pokédex platform fee. Not Pokédot token DOT, but Pokédex main token PDEX will only be used to pay the fees. Therefore, we need to prepare some PDEX to try out this platform. And there are zero centralized exchanges that offer this token like Qcoin, Gay.io, and we buy some PDEX and transfer it from SEX to our wallet. Okay, having the PDEX token already, we are good to go. And we should read the disclaimer from Pokédex not to misunderstand some errors that may occur. Yeah, so once we have the trading account, but before moving to the trading part, we need to fuel our wallet with money by clicking on the Add Funds button. After that, we'll be directed to the balance section. 
We can check our balances on a particular trading account, and we can add more funds or withdraw the profit. Currently, Pokedex will only support two currencies, which is Pokedex token, PDEX, and Chain Bridge USDT, CUSDT, for trading and soon to expand more. Let's deposit PDEX as an example. Enter the amount we want to put on Pokedex for trading and press Deposit and Approved with our wallet. And boom! We now have PTX tokens on the Pokedex platform. We can track our deposit or withdrawal history very easily thanks to Pokedex. And now we can move on to the trading tutorial section by clicking on the logo that looks like an exchange symbol on a control bar. Okay, remember we were directed to the trading interface and it was full of information, right? I do not feel dizzy. Pokedex is trying to provide the most simple and smart user interface and user experience. And firstly, we need to choose to pair as we wish, like PDEX, CUSDT, and next to the top bar is the price of CUSDT, and other statistics like the volume or price changes on a 24-hour basis. In the center, we can see the chart that illustrates the price changes of PDEX over CUSDT with unlimited tools for traders to apply their methods. It can be the Fibonacci line, choosing time zone like UTC, same chart periods, and so many more, and they will integrate trading view in the future. Next to the chart is the buying selling wall that indicates demand and supply of BDEX and CUSDT volume at which prices. On the bare right of the buying and selling wall is where we can place our order of whether to buy or sell by how many percent, and even we can trade that pair at the limit prices and also market prices. Below the chart is a section of tracking our open positions or history of our trade as the most detailed. Really simple, right? And shout out to Pokedex for creating this great platform that can help us as traders very, very much. And yeah, that's a video about how to use Pokedex decentralized trading platform. And if you really enjoy it, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to Pokedex Center for more insightful videos. Bye! See you soon.